On today's episode, we're kicking off our new series here. Back alley, hole in the wall. Steak and lobster in a parking lot. We're literally about to eat fresh seafood at a gas station. What's going on Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're uncovering the lesser known parts of Hawaii on this series, Hawaii Unknown. For our first stop, we are here in the area of, where is it, Central Oahu, you would call it, right before Pearl Ridge Mall area. But guys, we're literally about to eat fresh seafood at a gas station. All right, Foodie Ohana, so we have arrived at the Seafood Cartel, Da as in D-A, Seafood Cartel. We actually tried them out at the Kakako's Farmer's Market, if you guys caught that one. But there, they only had the ceviche and seafood tostada. Here, they have all the full range of offerings, and we are super excited to try them. They're located right off of Kamehameha Highway, the hustle and bustle back there. You see the rail going on back there as well. And they took over what used to be Wally's gas station. The seafood cartel is Sonora style cuisine. It is amazing. I've never had fresh tacos and seafood out of a gas station. And of course, with all this amazing, delicious food, we had to bring reinforcements. You guys already know who we brought. Hi. Expect a lot of Ono grinds coming your way. The first dish that came out is called Taco Cabo. It is basically grilled arachera beef and shrimp on top of a cheese crusted toasted corn tortilla with pico de gallo. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. I cannot wait to try this. The best of both worlds. This is basically a surf and turf taco. Let's try the beef here. Oh wow. Very simply seasoned. I feel like it's just salt and pepper. Very flavorful. A leaner cut of beef, but I love the char on here. Three plump sized shrimp pieces right here. I just want to dive right in already. Oh my goodness. Did I say guacamole? It has guacamole on here as well. How do I even attack this? Oh, oh man. This is like a vampiro, right? Like an open face taco. This is the manliest taco I've ever held in my life. Oh okay. my goodness. Look Land and sea. All right, here's to the first bite. Oh, thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> oh god. There's so much flavor is going in my mouth right now. That corn tortilla, it's so soft, grilled just nicely, enough to hold the integrity of all the ingredients. You see, no spillage, didn't break on me. The star of the show, of course, are the proteins in here, very delicious. The shrimp is nicely seasoned, the steak nicely seasoned, pico de gallo, very citrusy, creaminess of the guacamole, perfect, perfect taco. Oh my gosh, I come back just for this taco. Every table here even has a bottle of their signature hot sauce. Looks like a type of spicy, some kind of spicy chili sauce. I'm gonna try some now with the sauce on here. Ooh, it smells very vinegary. Oh, 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 oh. oh okay, That's it's a, a very loose sauce. I might have put a little too much on here. Mmm. That's a very interesting sauce. Pairs perfectly with the seafood. It's more citrusy and salty, almost like a, I don't want to be rude or offend anyone, but it tastes almost like a Chinese style, like shoyu chili sauce. So this dish here is the quesadilla de marlin. It's a keave smoked marlin blend of their special spices and cheese on a plate. Wow. It looks amazing. Ooh, it smells amazing. I can smell the spices. I'm not sure what spice that is, but let's pick this baby up. Do you guys see all of that fish in there? I see some onions in there. Ooh, look at that cheese. You can see the cheese right over here. Ooh, you can see a nice char. All right, I just, I gotta go for it, you guys. Cheers. Wow, it's nice and smoky. You can taste some kind of like maybe cumin, onion, pepper, maybe some oregano. Mmm, mmm. Tons of cheese, tons of marlin meat. If you are a person that likes fish tacos, this is a great alternative. The tortilla even holds up super well. I love that it's like a soft taco. 
Mm. Oh wow, pretty. <laughs> Thank you. And then if for that one, if you guys like spicy, it goes super good with this one. We make it in ourselves. We call it like a salsa marisquera. So if you go to Mexico and you go to like seafood places, every seafood place has like their black sauce. Oh. So it has some shoyu in it, some sauces from Mexico, habanero, jalapeno, serrano, and Hawaiian chili. We call it our black sauce of death, but it's a salsa <laughs> marisquera, like a seafood sauce. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, thank you to our server for explaining what the sauce is. Hey, but I was partially right. It did. Remember, I said it tastes like soyu. There is soy sauce in there. We did try their ceviche tostada, the OG one at the farmers market. This is something different. This is their tostada embrazada. Crab spread, cooked shrimp, octopus, and ceviche. This is a homemade tostada. I even see some like crema sauce, avocado, and chilies sprinkled on top. This is their chicharron de pescado, which is seasoned crispy fried mahi mahi cubes with chipotle aioli and homemade salsa served with warm corn tortilla. Ooh, so excited. I don't know how to even attack this tostada. Me neither. I'm gonna try the mahi mahi cubes by itself. It looks very orangey and flavored. Oh my gosh. Dang, look at that. All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh, that is so flaky and tight. Mmm. Wow. I love the sauce on the bottom. I barely even got the ceviche. I just got a little bite of the shrimp right there. The shrimp is so soft. The octopus is so tender. The sauce on the bottom is a little bit creamy. There is a citrus element, a little spice. I'm gonna mm. go ahead and dress mine while you're eating that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of chipotle aioli. I forgot to mention they're very tender, very flaky, very lightly seasoned. I guess they don't want to take away from the flavor. Excuse my caveman-esque uh, etiquette here, but I'm just going in with using my fingers. I've got the lime right here. A little bit of their homemade salsa. Mm. Oh man, creaminess, hint of spiciness from the chipotle aioli. The salsa is so fresh, nice acidity to balance it all off. Portilla is still nice and warm. Oh man. When you eat mahi mahi by itself, it's very simply seasoned, so you're thinking, oh, it might not be that flavorful, but when you add everything together, outstanding, outstanding. I love that it's like lightly crispy. It's not super oily, nice little light crisp batter. You have to try this though. The only downside of this thing is it's hard to eat. But the tostada is still crispy, you guys. It's actually pretty crazy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh man, so much flavors and freshness going on here. Their ceviche is so good. Honestly guys, if you come to the seafood cartel, you have to get a tostada. Their tostada, homemade, fresh, super refreshing. The tostada is still crispy. Oh man, pretty much all these dishes, I wouldn't mind ordering again. They were so good. My favorite out of all of them was definitely the chicharron de pescado. It's very misleading when you first just try it. Cause yeah, when you see all the mahi mahi and you just try one, you're like, oh, okay. Like, you know, it kind of reminds me of like eating like popcorn chicken. Like, you know, it's just like something not too flavorful, but in terms of just more like subtle, you know, fish flavors. But oh man, when you put it together with the sauce, with the spicy aioli sauce, the salsa, it changed my mind like what is this that was probably the first time i've ever realized that concept of like a deconstructed meal and have that flavorful combination that was really surprising to me so that was a pleasant surprise for today we ordered chips and salsa you guys Ooh. how is it extra crispy very fresh you can tell they make these in-house our server did mention they make awesome guacamole. I've never tried a salsa like this. Yeah. A thicker type of chunky salsa, but the flavors are more like zesty almost. Mm -hmm. If you dine here, get the chips and salsa. We got Mexican music playing in the background. The tables are all outdoors. You're literally eating along the side of the highway, so it's like in the busy streets of Mexico or something. Alright guys, this next spot is located in the Waipahu area. We've never been here at night before, so very interesting to see. And this spot is only opened from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. in the morning, guys. Only for dinner, 
from Tuesdays to Fridays. We are at Mop Central in Waipahu area, same parking lot as we did Leno's La Casita Minaso. Same parking lot. Oh, that looks like a lot of food. Oh man, oh, I can't wait to show you guys what we got. This is unbelievable. Steak and lobster in a parking lot. Insane, guys. This is under $30. Oh my gosh. It smells amazing too. So the way it works here is you choose your type of protein. I got a mixed plate with their Friday special, which is a lobster tail and one choice, steak. So New York steak and lobster tail. This was $24. So you choose your protein choices and they ask you what kind of sauce you want on it. I got the garlic butter and parmigiana for the lobster tail. Oh, this bad boy is loaded. Garlic butter, lobster. Granted, it's not gonna be like super fresh lobster, but man, it gets the job done. Very buttery, very garlicky. Garlic butter parmesan works very well with the lobster. The New York steak is gonna be cooked more on the done side. My fault because I didn't specify the doneness. So I got their New York steak with their kusisi sauce, which is their version of sriracha mayo with chili pepper flakes. Mmm. Mm, yeah. That sauce is like a sweet chili, but creaminess from the mayo. The steak is a little more on the tougher side, but I love the char. It has a crisp on it. Hit it with some of the rice here. Oh man. I just like that you can customize it to however you want, every one of your protein. A friendly subscriber we ran into here, shout out to you. Sorry we didn't catch your name, but mahalos again for the support. He did mention that one of the favorites here was the Terry meatballs or local meatballs, which is like their version of local moko, but instead of a hamburger patty, it's little meatballs. It's called Mops Moko. So if you guys do make your way out here to Mop Central, let us know how it tastes. I got the mum mum fries. I am a bit full from earlier earlier so I got the small size. It comes in a small or a regular. These are nicely fried crinkle cut french fries. You guys know how much we love our french fries here on Amanda and Felix Eats. And for this one we got the 94 block sauce. It has mayo, mustard, and a secret ingredient to it. And it's also topped with a fried egg. If you guys like fried eggs, make sure you check out our previous video we did about local moko. We went looking for the best one, so make sure you check that video out. Cheers. Mm. Whoa, that sauce is crazy. It's sweet, creamy, a little tangy, very addicting. Mm. The fries are so nice and crispy. You guys have to see the sauce on the inside. They definitely don't skimp on the sauce here. You gotta have sauce all over. I really like the sauce. I love that it's different. I've never really had something like this. And for you crispy fry gang, the fries are still crispy. Yvonne wants to try it. Oh man, Yvonne's going ham over there. If you're a sauce person, you're gonna love this. The lobster itself too, can't go wrong with lobster. If you're wanting a cheap lobster at night, for some reason you're craving the fancy fancy, this is it. I kind of want to get another one of the fries. My crinkle cut is my weakness, and it's crunchy crinkle cut. Yeah, the fries are really good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bro, look at that. It was so good that what you had to order another one? Had to get a second one. That for I don't know. The other one was like eating breadcrumbs. I don't know what Amanda was thinking. <laughs> so, Sorry, I ate it all. Yeah. You gotta get the large size. This is the large size, guys. A the whole complete. plate full of fries. Look at that. And two eggs, not just one. This will satisfy your you know late night cravings. If you guys are partying out late night Friday right now, and, and they're like, open till one. Oh, and they're open till one. So if you're out, you know, clubbing, going out, just, you know, and you're like, man, I'm craving these real, I'm craving something that just hits that spot. This is it. This hit the spot. Like, I had to order more. That, that's a sign. Mm -hmm. Sister, we got one more place to go, you know. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not ready. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, guys, and this next spot we're heading to is a literal hole in the wall. It's a hole in someone's home, basically serving up awesome local food for decades. All right, guys, so we are on Lehua Avenue, still between Waipahu and Pro City area. 
at none other than Mickey's. You locals already know where we are. It is definitely someplace unknown. For me, for example, I have not really ventured out here for food and this is my first time here. I'm super excited. The food looks amazing, looks comforting, especially on such a cold night like tonight. And it's affordable. There's a long line already, so we got our orders in, just waiting for the food. All right, Foodio Hana, as you saw, it's a takeout only spot. We're in a random parking lot. <laughs> I haven't felt like this since like my high school days. So the backstory of Mickey's is they've been around, I don't know how long, many decades. Like it was back in early 2000s when I used to go car cruising with my friends late at night. They're only open from 8 to 3 a.m. in the morning, every single day, 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. in the morning. Crazy guys, late night, local spot, affordable, fully loaded plates right away. It smells amazing. I haven't had Mickey's since I was in high school. I'm very excited to try. This is the combo plate I would always get. This is the patelle stew loaded with meat. You can see very generous. Of course, Amanda's favorite, olives. It's a lot of it. And of course, the terry meatballs. This is a local favorite. Ooh, that looks good. Sounds weird, but trust me, guys, when I say you must try and must get the terry meatballs. Comes with rice and also mac salad. Yes, it's a local Filipino establishment, staple here in Hawaii. So I'm gonna try the terry meatballs first. Let's see if it's as good as I remembered. Mmm. Something so simple and satisfying about those meatballs. It's just so nostalgic and addicting. They're small enough that they're poppable. It's sweet, it's savory. It's not like high quality or anything, it's just delicious i'm not even sure what kind of protein it is but you gotta believe me and get it it's so good a tangy sweet and savory sauce it's definitely a nostalgic thing and who knows maybe once you try it it could be yours too amanda's never tried this and she's a local so i'm excited for her to try that i'm gonna try the patelli stew oh my gosh look you can see that piece of fat fatty gelatinous right there some meat i'm gonna get a little bit of everything Mmm, mm. this is good. This is so good. Very savory, very tomatoey. I love the spices in here. Oh my gosh. Uh, I need some rice to counterbalance the richness. Mm. I miss those late nights when you had no care in the world and you don't want to eat fast food, but you can get yourself an awesome plate like this. This was $14. Back then, I swear it was only like nine bucks. The mac salad is um, one of those very just mayo-y basic mac salad, but gets the job done, you know. Late night cravings hit. This is it right here. This is the right way to do it. Lao Lao just sounded so good. Stick to your ribs, warming, soul warming Lao Lao. So of course I had to get it. This is the mini Lao Lao. It is $12.50, comes with one heaping scoop of rice, mac salad. And guys, it is so nice and warm on my cold hands. I mean, I'm not expecting this to be like a gourmet lao lao, but let's see. Look at how nice the leaves are. Tons of meat. I even see the fat in there. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Now this reminds me of childhood. Oh my goodness, so much meat. Mm. For $12, this is such a steal. It's so filling. I personally like when the Lao Lao is not too smoky. This one is not super smoky at all. The leaves are nice and soft. They're not bitter or anything. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, this is a pretty good Lao Lao. For $12.50, guys. That steals. Mm. Is there um, fish in that one? I didn't get to it. I think this is the fish. Butterfish? Butterfish? Jinx. Let's see. I think that was pork. Usually Lalo has a piece of fish in there. It has the, the fat though. I think that's the best. Bro, by the time you find the fish, you can finish the Lalo already. You can save me some. Mm, perfect. Except mm. for the fish, right? There's no fish in there. Yeah, there's no fish, but still very delicious. Gets the job done. It really reminds me of like childhood, going to River Market for some reason. Okay, I really want you to try the, uh, okay. the terrible mm. There was fish. What? I just ate it. Sorry guys. I thought it was pork and I just ate it. <laughs> yeah, I, I ate it on accident. I'm sorry, but I taste it. Mm. Oh my goodness, this thing is pretty heavy. I am very, very, very curious about these meatballs. I've heard so many things about them, how nostalgic they are. I'm gonna try one. It is soaked in that sauce. 
Whoa, I know what that reminds me of. It reminds me of school lunch. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Like, it's you can tell it's like processed meat, right? But it tastes like school lunch. It's so good. It tastes like the meatballs in those uh, spaghetti o. Kind of, yeah. Like, like that paste, meat paste or something. Like, mm -hmm. if you told me that was like not even real meat, like mystery meat, I wouldn't care. I'd still eat it. Try the patella stew. To me, this doesn't taste like a patella stew. It's like a spicier patella version of the pork guisantes. Mm, that's kind of what it tastes like to me. I don't taste the whole like banana. All I know is that's that's my combo right there. You guys got to try this combo. Yeah, yeah. This is the spot, you guys. Foodie Ohana, we hope you guys had an amazing time joining us today on this new series of Unknown Hawaii where we feature a lot of the hidden local places that not a lot of even us locals venture out to. For today's late night dinner episode, we hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give this video a big thumbs up. That way we know that you guys enjoyed this series. And if you have not already joined our Foodie Ohana by clicking that subscribe button down below, helps us out a lot. And let us know if you guys know which parking lot we're in by our surroundings. <laughs> and if there's anything or anywhere that we missed, let us know in the comments below. And we will see you on the next video. All right, Foodie Ohana, until the next foodie adventure, explore your inner foodie. Peace out. Bye, guys. Oh, wait, Levon didn't oh. say bye yet. She's oh. tired, she's in the car here. Bye, Foodie Ohana. Cartel seafood. We actually is have it the cartel seafood. Oh, the seafood cart. Start over. Farrington Highway. Right. Is this Farrington or Kamehameha Highway? This is Kamehameha Highway. Farrington Highway. Is Kamehameha Highway. Highway. It is grilled arachara beef. And this place is called Mop Central. Did we tell you guys that? I don't think we did. We never remember to. Oh, oh no, precious. And this is their taco de marlin, basically. No, marlin. this is tar taco de marlin. Oh, oh no, yeah, yeah, sorry. Embrazada. 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 It's like, how do I put this down now? This one, we got a... What kind of sauce is it? Ooh. No! This is no easy feat. Oh, it's so good though. Should I do a break of the egg? Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try the pork this Ooh, look at that. It's not guisantes, isn't that the... Oh, I mean... oh my god, I don't even know what to call it. Um, I'm a big fan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's on my phone. <laughs> huh?